me a free pawn! Yeah! Hey, I'm Chopper Terry and welcome to another adventure. So today, I'm going to show you all out there how to get a free pond. So follow me along on the adventure. All right, so today I'm here with my dog, Moose. That's fish bait. His real name's Benji. That's shark's bait way over there. Y'all know who shark's bait is, but her real name is Daisy. So I'm going to tell you how to get a free pond. Everyone wants to know, can I get a free pond or a lake dug? Yes, you can. And guess how you can do it? All you have to do is look in your local area. If someone wants to dig up a big old hole in your ground, you have enough land like I do, they'll take the land away and you got a free pond. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot more to it than that. So I contacted a guy and he basically came over and he said, all right, I'm going to take your fill, all of your fill, dig you a pond and you have to pay me nothing but he's gonna make money off your dirt. You ever heard the song, Buy Dirt? That's how you get a free pond. So I wanna show you a little bit about how this went down. I can't really show you all the time lapses or anything like that because once it was built, I just kinda of just went along with the flow of the whole nature thing. <clears throat> Basically when it rains, you get these gullies. You can pretty much see gullies all around here. Um, I also installed this wonderful fountain and it is solar. You can order these online at Amazon or whatever. They run between 50 and this one was probably about $300 right here. But it keeps your pond kind of a little movement. So you got a little bit of flow so it doesn't sit there stagnant. I'm going to walk down here and show you these gullies. This is part of the evolution process of a pond. Once you dig it, if you don't, if it's just raw dug out and there's no grass or anything, like I planted all this grass out here and it is growing now, <clears throat> but um, it, um, it should be more down here. You probably want to sod it in. And there's my dog Moose swimming, but it's a wonderful pond. I mean, it almost looks like a lake. It's really beautiful and big. This is right now the lowest it will be. This is the dry season, but we are right now under a state of emergency in Okeechobee. And today we're supposed to get two to four inches of rain. If I pan around, you can see my property here. Two to four inches of rain is supposed to come in. So throughout the day, I'm gonna watch and see how these gullies handle it because this is the only weak area I have in the pond. And y'all need to look for that. Once it's dug, there's gonna be areas that are gonna wash out. Some won't, like on that far end, it doesn't wash out. Over there, it does a little bit. But this will eventually all fill in, and I'm gonna figure out how to stop this process of it eating away and eroding. But in the meantime, there's some wind blowing right now. I'm gonna wait a bit and see if this storm comes in and maybe film a little bit of the storm. Let me do one last thing and take a walk around. Jamaican hibiscus, beautiful stuff. I have growing. This is my home away from home. I have a real address. I ain't going to tell you where it's at. But I like to come out here and camp. And that's my rugged campsite. Living off the grid. I got electricity. I got running water. As you can see there's hoses here. I've got sugar cane. 10 foot tall sugar cane. I've got all kinds of cool fruit trees over here. Bromelades. Pineapples. Mango red peppers look at that beautiful tomatoes i just pretty much oh and, and pineapples right here bananas i have rosemary all kinds of herbs and stuff i have a garden way over there i'll probably show you that later i could walk over <clears throat> and i have a nice hill right here on the property where eventually one day i'm going to build a home so that's in the making but i really want to go into the throughout this video on how to get a free pond and tell you more information. Alrighty, follow me along. Let me show you one last thing. There's my other garden over there. It's got pigeon peas and cow peas. And these things grow great here in the summer. I've got grass and everything real nice. The dogs love it out here. That's pigeon peas, cow peas. They grow really well in Florida. So, all right. I'm going to stop video right now and I'm going to go do something when it else rains, and I'll talk more what, about the pond later. What goes on with Follow this pond. me along. A lot to say about this pond. 
Um, like I said, you just call somebody up that wants to take your fill, your dirt, and your pond's pretty much free. That's how I did it. You never know who will do it. I could say the name of the guy that did it, but the thing is, there's so many. It's a different county. This is Okeechobee. So if you're in Tennessee or Alabama or well, who knows where you're at, you just got to call somebody up and find out and say, hey, basically just tell them, I want to make a deal. You get free fill, free dirt. You can sell it. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's two to 300 bucks a load for the dirt. That's how you, that's how they make their money. Or you could pay $13,000 for a big old pond like mine or almost a lake to be dug. Cause I know my buddy paid about that. So look off in the distance. Yup, that right there, there's rain over that way. Definitely rain that way. And I gotta tell you, that there is called a shelf cloud. Look, it just looks like a straight line. Those can be the meanest storms ever. Years ago in the Jupiter Inlet, two boys went out, won't say their names, but I saw a cloud like this while I was doing my camp, my summer camp, and afterwards they disappeared. These are deadly storms, so like I said, disclaimer, don't try this, don't go out in the eye of the storm. I've done it before, but I do have a place to take cover. Now. Well, I shouldn't do this. Look at this. Rabbit pellets. So we're out here walking. I really thought about going back to camp, but I'm just really intrigued on the storm coming. It almost looks like it could be like a, almost a tornado or something. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That's a bad storm, but I kind of want to watch it for a bit. I'm not going to stay on too long. Um, it's all around me. It's really, there's no, I really haven't heard much thunder. All right, <clears throat> this storm's definitely getting closer. I hear rain right over there. In fact, hold on. You're going to watch the camera in a little bit, get hit by droplets. I don't know if you all can hear this, but yep, here comes the rain. Here it comes. Wow, this is cool. Moose is here. Daisy, Benji, shark bait, fish bait, and alligator bait. We're all out here. We're about to get poured on. Now I hope there's no lightning, but we're under a state of emergency, and this is cool. Here we go. Camera's gonna get um. Let's get, oh yeah, here it comes. Up oh, there's the rain. Look at that. Now. I don't want to get struck by lightning. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. Oh yeah, the rain is coming down. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to head to my property. There's going to be droplets on this camera. Just bear with me. I can't wash them off. But um, wow, this is cool, man. This is nature, dude. I'm right out here on an adventure. Trapper Terry's adventure. I am so stoked. As long as, as, long as we don't get struck by lightning. I heard some, but there it is, the squall is it coming in. I'm gonna go check out the pond and... Yeah, there's a lot of rain coming down. I'm gonna walk out by the pond and see just what's going on. I saw you walking in the rain. <laughs> right. Woo, look at that, that is so cool. I built all this stuff myself, except for the pond. The guy showed up in a big old John Deere, and uh, he dug this sucker out. Let's see where it's flowing right now. All right, so here's some water filling up right here. And it looks like what happens is, yup, it goes down this way. And this is where it's watering in. Look at that. Whoa, I heard some thunder. It's almost, it's almost like in Hawaii. They've got clay soil and stuff. Look at Moose, Moose, we're out in a lightning storm, you gotta be careful. And the water just flows on down into here and makes it all murky. Like if you go to Hawaii and you got that red clay, all of a sudden it'll flow on down the water in these heavy rainstorms. Now, this is the lowest my pond has been since it was built. If you look at the ridge around the end, all the way around, right up here, this is how high it was, way up here. It's dropped about three foot. But it can't get any lower than this because this is the driest I've ever seen it. So I'm hoping, really hoping, that this, in this rainstorm, I don't care if this stuff washes in. I just hope that it fills it back up. And then what I will do is 
I'm seeing the weak spots where it's all flowing down. There's gold in that river. <laughs> um, so this is where it's going to go down. These are the weak spots. And here comes Benji in the rain. I don't know what he's thinking. Benji, what are you doing? Fish bait. Are you going to go in the pond? Go swimming. Come on. Come on, Ben. Go swimming. Let's go. Swimming, guys. It is pouring. This is awesome. Look at this. Woo! I got me a free pond. Yeah! All these shells came from the guy that dug this pond up, and he said it was 10,000 years old shells down there. So at one time, Florida was covered in water. Interesting. Well, I'm probably going to power off. There's a little bit of thunder and lightning, as you can hear. I'm watching the pond slowly fill up, but um, it's definitely got a lot of gullies. I guess you got to kind of let nature take its course. I don't know. So we'll just see. But I will say, I think this is pretty beautiful. I even have uh, canoes off in the distance over there. Bad little rain, as you can see. I don't want to run my batteries out, but I think it's going to get worse throughout the night. Like we're still under a state of emergency till I guess Sunday night or Monday morning. So we'll see what happens. I saw a little bass hit right there. All right, this is pretty cool, look at it.